The conflict that was supposed to change the government in Syria is now taking on a new dimension. Now that the foreign-backed militant groups have failed to achieve their goal, they've come to blows with each other. Nearly 500 people, including 85 civilians, have been killed in a week of infighting. Their foreign supporters now fear that the insurgents might turn the gun on them once they go back home. We have this report. The unrest in Syria began in March 2011. At first it was a protest against the government, but gradually it took a new form and turned into a war in Syria backed by foreign countries, the countries that did not want to see President Bashar al-Assad in power anymore. They started to support his opponents and turned the unrest into a bloody conflict. Western countries and their regional allies, including Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Turkey, trained militants and provided them with arms to topple Assad. But at the time, they could not imagine that one day these insurgent groups will take up arms against each other over ideological differences. Now, almost three years into the conflict, there are violent clashes going on between the insurgents in Syria. Those militants affiliated with Al-Qaeda are fighting several groups of foreign-backed insurgents. Reports say the Al-Qaeda-linked militants now have the upper hand against their rivals in Syria's north, especially in the provinces of Idlib and Aleppo. These militants are linked to the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, or the ISIL, which many believe is funded by the CIA and Saudi Arabia. It was established in the early years of the Iraq War and pledged allegiance to Al-Qaeda in 2004. The group is now active in both Iraq and Syria. They are mostly positioned in Iraq's Anbar province and responsible for the death of thousands of Iraqi civilians. The group is also behind several terrorist acts inside Lebanon and other countries. During the conflict in Syria, the ISIL expanded its presence there to fight against Damascus. In a recent violent move, the militant group executed over 50 people, including journalists and media workers in Aleppo. The journalists had been abducted from their offices in December and were held captive in a hospital. Such brutal crimes by the militants have now even made their supporters worried. The FBI director James Comey says he is concerned about the militants inside the U.S. who would be radicalized after returning from Syria. He has expressed concern that Syria has turned into a training ground for a new generation of terrorists. So this isn't something that they have just all of a sudden discovered now. And that now all of these wild dogs that they have trained and that they have loosed upon the Syrian people, uh, they can't contain them anymore. And that they have become something of a, a liability now in that these wild dogs may actually make their way uh, back to their trainers and handlers and actually bite them. With such conflicts between the insurgents on the battlefield and also victories of the Syrian army, it seems the militants' attempts to remove the Syrian government will fail. And on the political side, there is little hope for the Geneva II conference in Syria to bear fruit, while the political fronts cannot be united in their plans. So far, they have been unable to decide on a coalition to represent them in the upcoming talks.